inside now the Dumfries Ice Bowl. We are moments away from Game 3 of the Under-18s World Championship Division 2A. It is Great Britain Under-18s against the Netherlands. Fakir with the shot in and out of the glove of Headley, poked back towards goal by Coppier and they've scored! Wessel Coppier has got the opening goal and it's greeted with a huge cheer from the Dutch supporters away to our right. A bit unfortunate, I think, fucked up all in the air, I think Jordan Crow just lost sight of it, it kind of landed at his feet. Dutch certainly on top in the shot count, as well as one goal up on the scoreboard. Van Ness. Trying to go around Buglas. Buglas with a little bit of help from White. And now it's moved clear to Richards. Dumped in on goal, there's a rebound, and it's looped in! And it's Lee Bonner who's got it! The young Hull lad gets Britain level off a big rebound from Lewenstein. Just come from a nothing play from the uh, the GB team, but again, the Dutch team switched off there and they play on net, but fair play to Lee Bonner. Never gives up, right to the net. Goalie left it for a defenseman and they've just penalized. And that's what's going to come from these games. The keel forced off the puck by Duggan. That's a nice touch from Antonov to get Duggan going. He's got hook up in support. Duggan goes backhand and scores! GB have turned it around and lead 2-1. Going to the box for tripping. It's a GB captain Lewis Hook. There certainly is more goals, I think, for GB in this game. And the number four seeds GB of the tournament. A 2 1 up at the moment, but there's a man at the back door, and the shot comes in. And the Netherlands have scored with number 19, Vus Vanes, and he scores. And suddenly, out of nothing, that's the way it can happen at this level. The break came left hand side and Netherlands tie it at two. Think about shades of the Romania and the Korea game, you know, a bit of a nothing play, broken play, the blue line turnover and a, sh and a shot between the legs, you know, tough goal to give up. But knocked away from Smith by Hook. Houston again plays it into the zone, it's played straight back out. Icing is waved off. Pass down the boards, Antonov and he's got support, here's Hook. Nice to play the pass and put in by Duggan. A great team goal and Britain are back on top. Really, really bad line change for the Dutch team on that play there. Hookie just stepped in open ice and it said Sammy Duggan went wide. Great, great set of eyes from um, Lewis Hook there. Put it on a sausage at Sammy Duggan and bang, no problem at all. Netherlands still look as though they're well in this game. GB now coming forward into the offensive zone with Oddie Betteridge. Betteridge goes, oh, not far away. Netminer got a piece of it, and he wasn't far away at all in the slightest. Here comes Hook, trying to turn provider, he's looking for Duggan. The pass got deflected away before it reached his teammate. Fine looking, continually dangerous. Oh, that one's caught Norderman, and he is down and in some discomfort. He's thrown his glove off, and I think that's caught him on the wrist and he's gonna get up and head straight to the bench We've got 12 44 to go the opening game for these two teams wins earlier today for Korea and for Lithuania and a penalty right off the face off it's a hooking call and Britain don't seem too happy with it and a misconduct has been added so Britain are going to have to do it without one of the most influential players, Lewis Hook. 4-2, plus 10. And so it is two minutes delay of game on Stead and five of three in favour of the Netherlands. Their route back into the game. Big slap shot blocks. Really good block from Crow. As Kinney King was winding up. Again, big slap shot. Great goal, Fogela. He got everything into that, and the Dutch have their equaliser. 
Oh, and then nearly sneaking in was Hermans. Calling for it is Van Ness. Van Ness! Oh, he went round the netminder, but couldn't put it in, and the penalty will come. Here at the moment, it's kind of opened up on both ends. Both teams, you know, kind of getting a bit loose. So, timeout, Great Britain. Five on three power play for the next 19 seconds for the Netherlands. GB about to get one man back on the ice. One more shot on the five on three, you think, for Netherlands. Nicely moved around. Jordan. Headley makes the save. And again, GB now try and clear their lines. Headley makes two saves there on the five on three. So just five on four for another 90 seconds. Shot comes in again. And the Netherlands have scored with their number five. Vogelaar has blasted it in. What a super, super shot from him. It was a ripper from Vogelaar. But again, just one of those things that GB just going to settle down here. They're not out of this game by any means. Lethridge coming the forward into the offensive zone. And what a comeback from GB. They have scored again with Alex Forbes. Straight off the face off. My, oh my. What a play from GB. And they score. And I think I make that just a matter of seconds. And GB will try and get things going. That one's rink length listed the stretch pass and that's gone in and that goes under the glove of Jordan Headley and the goal scorer is Vans Vaness I beg your pardon and suddenly Netherlands go 5-4 up I'd like to think that was a planned play from the Dutch defenseman but he fired it up the ice and fair play the forward picked it up on full stride put it down I think probably Jordan Jordan, Jordan Headley got himself just caught in you know a bit of indecision there Duggan wins it, Betteridge shoots and it's not far away. A minute and a bit to go. And Netherlands has possession, they have the empty net. And the shot in the empty net is scored. And it's scored by Max Hermans. And I, I'm sorry to say, that could be game, set and match. It is 6-4 to Netherlands. Six goals to four, what, what are your views, Mark Beggs? Yeah. It's, a bit, it's one of those things that, you know, GB, they won't feel good about it, but I think, you know, it's, it's, it's a very harsh lesson. International, international hockey is very, very tough. Well, Martin Grubb, you, you must be very frustrated after that defeat. Yeah, very frustrated, Chris, and to be honest, bitterly disappointed that the, the end result, I thought, for spells, we were in control. Albeit it was a one-goal game, I, I thought we were dominating things, we created chances. It just proves that when you're on top, you really do need to take your chances. And then, you know, a, a few bits of indiscipline cost us, maybe a little bit of selfishness for a couple of individuals. And unfortunately, we, we lose the game, and, and now it's all about response and how we come back for this and, and rebuild. And I'm positive, I'm, I mean, I am positive that we will come back for this. Hopefully it's a blip and we'll recharge our batteries and go again. With them being young, you know, very young, some of them 15, 16, is a defeat like this hard for them to take or because they're so young can they push it off and get on with it do you think i think a bit of both i mean they, they do take it hard they and, and rightly so i think they're, they're proud they're proud to represent their country but they also have that youthful and it they're, they're boys so they really want to come back with a lot of energy they just really i mean to be honest we, they just need to focus we, need, we played with a lot of nerves tonight to start and then we got ourselves into the game and if we can execute what we as coaches are asking them to do, then we'll be fine. And that's just the, the really, as you say, the earlier frustrating part, but we know we're a good team. We know we have the talent and the depth there. And unfortunately, we, we just lost our way a bit tonight and penalties, they killed us in the end. And now tomorrow night, we, we've got to come back and get a win and get the ball rolling. But let's be honest, I mean, any medal from this tournament is, is a positive thing. You're, you're fourth seed officially in the tournament, but whether it be bronze or silver, you should still be very proud. So it, it's a long way to go, and a medal, you know, even gold, is, is a very much a possibility. Yeah, I think the thing for us is we just got to concentrate on being the most consistent team in this tournament. I believe that every other team's probably going to beat each other at some point. So now, after losing tonight, we've got to be the team that just grinds out results, that goes to work and battles hard and, and does all the things that Great Britain teams do and do them well. And, you know, as you say, that of course, a medal is, is where we want to be. 
of course it's a goal medal, it's the one that we're really looking for and a first night defeat, yes, it's tough to take, but it's really, really all about the response. We have good character in our dressing room. Now we can come back tomorrow with a regulation win, then we can build on that, get the confidence going, and, and you know who knows what can happen for that. And finally, tomorrow it's Korea. Do you take heart from what you did on Friday when, when you beat them in the warm-up? Yeah, I think that the boys as well will have that. We know what they're like. We've watched them again today. So we've done our homework on Korea. I think that the tough one coming in tonight was a couple of practices you've seen in the Netherlands, but never seen any games. So we've seen the Korean team twice. We know their strengths, we know their weaknesses. And as you say, we're full of confidence for Friday night. So I know for I know what the boys are like. We'll come back tomorrow. It's another day. We'll be focused and we'll, uh, we'll be confident in getting the points tomorrow.